where Xenia and Oleg, four-time U.S. national competitors whose goal is to make Team USA and represent the U.S. at international competitions. We'll share with you what we learn along the way, so let's make this journey together. Hi everyone! Today we're going to be showing you a new skating exercise. What are we showing on today, Xenia? We will show you how to do the loops. But first we'd like to thank all of our anonymous supporters for supporting our skating. Thank you. All right, let's go show them. What it takes to do a forward inside loop versus a forward outside loop is essentially the same. As such, if you have seen episode 67, Forward Inside Loops, this will be a review. There are, however, a couple of additional things that need to be emphasized. First, avoid rushing the edge and make sure you control your presses. Whereas bad forward inside loops usually turn into three turns, bad forward outside loops result in skidding. This usually results from rushing to curve the entry edge or trying to press into the heel right away. Pitching forward, sticking your hips out, locking your knee and ankle will also cause this. Secondly, the loop isn't defined by a specific size, but by a 2 to 3 ratio. When we practice loops, we usually do them about the size of our blade. But you can do a blade and a half tall and a blade wide, or any other reasonable size. Just don't make your loops too big or too small. In order to be able to do forward outside loops, you have to be comfortable with doing deep forward outside edges. If you're having trouble with those edges, check out episode 40 or find it in our Skating Essentials playlist. When doing loops, you don't change edge. Instead, you use presses to do the loop. This pressure meter shows you where on the edge you maximize your presses. In order to tighten the curve of your edge, you press more. The maximum press is at the tightest point of the loop. Pay close attention to how the presses shift further back until your press is focused on the heel and then back out again. This riding of the heel happens as you round the bottom of the loop and is key to making the loop happen. Your loop should be about the length of your blade. Here are some examples of loop patterns. Correct loop pattern. The loop itself is at a 2 to 3 ratio, 2 parts wide for 3 parts long. The loop isn't too round or too big, no scratching of the edges, no stopping. Incorrect pattern. The loop is too narrow at the width, this happens if the skater forces the loop. Incorrect pattern. The loop is skidded. This happens if the skater is doing the loop but then forces it. Incorrect pattern. The loop is a big circle. This usually happens if the skater locks their knee and ankle and holds on until they complete the loop. If you stick your hips out or stay on the middle of your blade the entire time, this can happen. Incorrect pattern. The loop is a series of three turns. This and skidding are common mistakes when learning loops. What happens is the skater gets up on the ball of the foot, turning a forward three turn, then goes back onto the heel, turning the backward three turn. So instead of a loop, you get a bad double three turn. Enter the loop with your free foot extended behind, following your edge. Bring it through at the tightest point of the loop. Exit the loop with the free foot in front. Avoid holding the free foot in the entire time or rushing to bring it in early. A lot of problems could be avoided if you don't rush the loop. A common mistake when entering the loop is to try to hook it around. Instead, do it like an outside swing roll. To do the loop, your upper body twists from one side to the other. It works like this. Skate into the loop through the opposite shoulder of your skating foot. Exit the loop skating through the same shoulder as the skating foot. Keep your upper body from leaning into the circle that your foot is on. Your presses and rises have to be smooth and continuous. If you lock your knee or ankle, you won't be able to do the loop properly. 
Avoid skating on the ball of the foot or leaning forward. This will prevent you from doing a loop. And finally, don't look down, as this will mess up your loop. Hey everyone, we really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and click on the subscribe to subscribe for more videos. Alright, see you next time!